Hey, which one? Oh, I'm going to be late. Why didn't you wake me? I think this one. Well, I'll be ready. Look, um, I was talking to Stanley last night after you went to sleep, and we both think, um, well, their housekeeper quit and was surely not doing so well. Um, so these the Chaucer class I'm auditing? You're introducing me to the professor. I know, I know. that. Uh, well, that was the plan. That is the plan. Well, there's always next semester for that. Next semester? We're having a baby. That's why I wanted to audit this semester and enroll next fall. Shirley gets these... I guess you call them bouts of depression. Bro, she's completely incapable of taking care of the household, and I said you'd chip in. Room and board would practically be free. So this has been decided? Without even talking to me? Look, I have to look out for what's best for our family, and you sitting around taking classes just to pass the time, there's actual work to be I done. I wanted to finish my degree, that was... Brad, that was the point. I thought my job, my academic career was the point. So I am supposed to be her mate? I'm not gonna fight about this. Plans change, end of story. It's the least we can do to show our gratitude for all that Stanley's done for us. For you? I'm the one who's supposed to be ironing sheets and mopping floors. Were you just going to slip out? Without telling me? Move. I'm coming with you. You're being ridiculous. And I have to go. Hey, which one? Oh, God, I'm gonna be late. Why didn't you wake me? I think this one. I'll be ready. I was talking to Stanley last night after you went to sleep. And uh, we both think that, you know, well, their housekeeper quit. And, you know, was surely not doing so well. Maybe, um... Today's Chaucer class I'm auditing. You're introducing me to the professor? Yeah, I know. That, that was the plan. That is the plan. Well, there's always next semester for that. We're having a baby next semester. That's why I wanted to audit this semester. And then next fall I can enroll. Surely it's these, I guess you call them like bouts of depression. Look, she's completely incapable of taking care of the household and I said you'd chip in. Room and board would be free. So it's just decided? Without even talking to me? Look, I have to look out what's best for our family, Rose. and. You sitting around just taking classes just to pass the time when there's actual work I to be done. I wanted to finish my degree. That was, well, that was the whole point. I thought my job, my academic career was the point. So I'm supposed to be her maid? I'm not going to fight about this. Plans change. It's the least we can do to show our gratitude for all that Sam has done for us. For you. I'm the one who's supposed to be ironing sheets and, and mopping the floors. Were you just going to, to slip out without telling me? Move. I'm coming with you. No, you were being ridiculous. And I have to go. Imagine being here all alone. These are my favorite. The Amanita floridas. The death cat mushroom. It's the most poisonous of all fungi. It's fatal to humans if ingested. Don't you find it thrilling? Thrilling. Most young women find their mortality fascinating. They shouldn't. The truth is, no one cares all that much if you live or if you die. I don't mean me. 
I'm grateful to be with Fred. Baby. I'm so happy. Want to taste? No. No, of course not. You want to split it with me? Ordinary. It could stop our hearts from beating. Shirley! Shirley, spit it out! Shirley, oh my god! Shirley, we gotta get you to a hospital! Shirley, what have you done? It's okay, it's okay, it's not poison. No, you, you just said that that, that is the, the, the anaphimiclia. It's not going to kill me. These are the death cap. These are just straw mushrooms. You had them in your omelet yesterday. Here, try one. <sighs> You don't trust me. I like you, Rosie. I have no reason to want you to, to die. Why would I want to harm you? You could run, you know. Run fast away from me, but you aren't. Why is that? Why do you stay here? It's intoxicating, isn't it? A hand over the flame? I can see you, Rosie. I know what you're keeping. What thoughts you harbor? They aren't meant to hurt me. Are they? Open up. Can you imagine being here? Floridas. It's a death cat mushroom. It's the most poisonous of all fungi. Fatal to humans if ingested. Don't you find it thrilling? Thrilling. Terrifying. Hmm. Most young women find their mortality fascinating. Shouldn't. The truth is, no one cares all that much if you live or if you die. I don't mean me. I'm grateful to be with Fred. Baby. I'm so happy. You want the taste? No. No, of course not. You want to split it with me? <laughs> it looks so... ordinary. It could stop our hearts from beating. Surely. Shirley, spit it out! Shirley, oh my god! Oh god, we gotta get you to the hospital! Shirley, what have you done? It's okay, it's okay, it's not poisonous. What? It's not What do you mean? To, it, no, you just said it seemed It's not going to kill me. These are the death cap. These are straw mushrooms. You had them yesterday in your omelet. Here, try it. No. You don't trust me? I like you, Rosie. I have no reason to want you to die. Why would I harm you? You could run. Run fast away from me, but you aren't. Why is that? Why do you stay here? It's intoxicating, isn't it? A hand over the flame. I can see you, Rosie. I know what you're keeping. Thoughts you harbor. 
Maybe they aren't meant to hurt me, are they? Probably not. Use the good china. I'm looking. And the silver. Professor Nemser's home. Ladies, ladies, fetch the good professor a cocktail. It went well. He was a triumph, a triumph, I tell you. He had all the gals eating out of the palm of his hand. I did all right. Shirley, get out of here. The boy Wonder is home. Well met, well met, my own true love. Well met, well met, cried he. 